Today we will witness something truly extraordinary. A scene that goes unnoticed by most, yet plays out every single day beneath our feet. A fierce battle between multiple ant species for control of the territory. Watch this video until the end, because what you'll see, you've probably never seen before. Deep in the forest, the ultimate battle is about to begin for the giant Camponotus ants. Despite their massive size and superior strength, they are not free from danger. Sometimes scouts and soldiers stray too far from the colony in search of food, and that's when they fall into the traps of hidden predators, patiently waiting for the perfect moment to strike when they are alone. One of the Camponotus, also known as giant forest ants, has become trapped in the invisible threads of a web. Her enemy is the funnel web spider, Agilina labyrinthica, a silent weaver lurking deep within the dense silk veil she calls home. The spider has already injected her, but doesn't get any closer. She knows the risk. But before we continue the video, there's something I'd like to show you. While walking through the forest, I came across a clearing where hundreds of wasps were furiously swarming over the sand. It was complete chaos, as if someone had attacked their nest. I didn't dare get any closer, but based on their behavior, I believe they were Vespula germanica. A long time ago, I was stung by nine of them at once. And trust me, it wasn't pleasant. The ground trembles. Beneath the earth, an uncountable legion of red ants stirs with fury. As they secure their larvae, they form their ranks, ready for the battle that's about to begin. Joining them is the army of the Crimatogaster ants, larger in size with more fearsome mandibles. Following them come the giant forest ants. Although their colonies usually grow much slower than those of their rivals, this particular nest shows an extraordinary birth rate. Hundreds of soldiers ready to give their lives in the name of the queen. The Crematogaster ants strike with force. They know their strength lies in numbers. But to bring down a colossal Camponotus, it takes more than just a few ants. It requires a coordinated, determined assault. Amid the legendary battle that has just begun between several ant colonies, an unexpected referee appears, an armored beetle. Completely immune to the ants' bites, it watches the thunderous clash up close. The red ants have just stormed onto the battlefield, completely surprising the Camponotus. They advance with speed and aggression, relentlessly charging the nest. The impact is brutal. The structure trembles and the first rows of soldiers fall one by one, unable to react in time. But the Camponotus haven't said their last word. From deep within the nest, new units emerge, steadier and more determined, ready to defend their queen at any cost. The ground trembles once again. The counterattack begins. These small destroyers are known as Fidel, and while their size may not impress, their organization is remarkable. Divided into well-defined castes, they have large-headed soldiers with powerful mandibles, ready to crush any insect. If you're enjoying the video, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. This content takes me many hours to create, and your support means a lot to me. The giant ants are holding their ground and responding with strength. Other insects, unfortunately caught near the battlefield, are also dragged into the chaos and fall under the Camponotus, who now show no mercy. Those who can flee the area trying to escape, even the forest's apex predator, the one that usually rules without challenge, falls before the unleashed fury of the Camponotus. The centipede unintentionally has entered the outskirts of the nest, and the ants instantly perceive it as a threat. Within seconds, dozens of Camponotus latch onto its body, each one unleashing extraordinary strength. The overwhelming number of ants slows down the centipede's escape. Though it manages to shake some off, they are immediately replaced by new soldiers. These ants know neither compassion nor fear. They follow a single command, and they will carry it out to the end, defend their lineage, 
and their queen. The centipede is a resilient predator, equipped with a pair of forcipules, modified pincer-like structures used to subdue its prey. But this time, its specialized anatomy wasn't enough against the numbers and persistence of the Campanotus. While this group of ants manages to bring down the apex predator, on the other side of the nest, the red ants keep pouring in. Their relentless advance is now becoming a problem, even for the Crematogaster, who arrived earlier, and are now feeling the full force of these fearsome invaders. Watch closely. A Campanotus fights back with everything she has, spraying formic acid from her abdomen to drive away her attackers. The red ants are becoming a true nightmare for everything around them. They advance relentlessly, attack without hesitation, and make no distinction between allies and enemies. Their presence throws the entire battlefield into chaos. But the giant ants are not fragile. They fight back with strength, resisting every assault with unstoppable determination. A curious fact about Campanotus ants is that they can communicate using vibrations transmitted through the ground, in addition to pheromones. This ability allows them to coordinate even in complete darkness. The two-front invasion is about to reach the heart of the nest. While most ants defend it from the outside, others inside rush to evacuate several chambers, carrying their larvae to safer areas. Amid the chaos of battle, a new player emerges. A spider has realized that if she stays cautious and silent, she can use the confusion to her advantage, capturing an ant without the others noticing. Others less cautious and slower, like this wandering beetle just passing by, weren't as lucky as the spider. He fell into the grasp of a tangled swarm of ants, and there was no escape. It's worth noting that Campanotus ants aren't the only ones using chemical strategies in battle. Crematogaster ants also have a unique tactic. They raise their abdomen over their thorax and release a sticky substance from a specialized gland, capable of immobilizing or disorienting their enemies. Little by little, the red ants began to vanish, and the Crematogaster withdrew. The Campanotus finally found a moment of peace just another day in the restless world of ants.